Hi, welcome to the new iArtist tutorial for creating your course using Google Earth version 4.3 and this will allow you to use your course in the iArtist application on your iPod Touch and on your iPhone, all versions. As we go along you're going to notice our process is a little more involved than some other apps but that's because iYardage provides the most accurate distances. We're basically creating an interactive yardage book like a traditional yardage book that the pros use and you notice the pros don't use GPS and the pros are pretty accurate so let's go ahead and get started. What you see here is hole number eight at the Swope Memorial course. What we ask for you to get in every course and for every hole is the following things. The center of the green, 30 yard marker, 50 yard marker, all the tee boxes, and the final further, uh, furthest back tee box, we want you to also get the straight line distance from the center of the green to that point. You'll also notice in here that there is a outline around the course. For courses that don't have great definition or contrast, you can add this layer and this will help us when creating the course uh, a great deal. But the uh, step one is to find your golf course. Um, so if you look up here, go ahead and delete this, you have the search area. So you can expand this and type in the address that you want to go to. So 6900 Swope Memorial Drive and you go ahead and hit return and you notice that it'll, Google Earth will fly you over to the address that you have added in there. Okay, step number two is to set up your file structure. So I always recommend working in My Places. So go to My Places and highlight it. Right click, add a folder, and name it after the course that you're doing. So Swope Tutorial for this one so I don't get it mixed up with my real one. Then highlight that directory, Swope Tutorial or whatever the name of your course is, add a folder and start adding the holes, 1 through 18. And you're basically just creating a folder for each of these where all the information is going to stay in. So I'm going to go ahead and do just as I told you, add a folder for number 10, which I haven't done yet. And let's go ahead and mark the center of this green. So here's where the real course creation begins. First thing you do is go up to this Add Place Mark tool. When you click on it, the default setting is this lovely thumbtack. So what you do is you go over to here and click this thumbtack. And if you move the scale down to 0.5, you want to do that after you choose this. Because if you do that first and then click this bullseye, it goes back to 1.2. So in the order, uh, click the bullseye change the scale to 0.5, click OK, and we'll go ahead and zoom in as close as we can to this green and try and find dead center. So we'll go here, we'll name it 10, hit enter, and you just mark the first center of your green. So up here is the ruler. Click on this. When you first start off, I've already had it open here, when you first start off it defaults to miles, so set it to yards or meters and then zoom in as close as you can to this center of the green. Right in the dead center, go ahead and click and it will set point A. Drag it out to 30 yards. Then you go up to here, add place mark tool again. Drag it to as close as you can to the center of this point, which is not easy. You can see it snaps close around it. So I'm going to say that this is about as close as you can get to that. I'm going to name it 30 for 30 yards. You notice when you pull out that red dot lines up perfectly with it just about so that's about 30 yards be as accurate as you can because um, that's how accurate your yardage book is going to be so normally you can only set this once the way you unlock it is to hit the ruler tool again or maybe you might have to turn it off and turn it on again and that will unlock it and then you can drag it out to your 50 yard marker rinse and repeat all right, so while the next step is adding your tee box, um, it's kind of difficult to do on this course because you would not really notice it, but this is a tee box here, and this back here is the tee box. So definitely reference your yardage books, your internet, um, your local knowledge of the course. So before I set this tee box area, I'm going to show you how to outline it. Go to the Add Polygon tool, click on it. Go to Style and Color tab. It's default set to outline and or fill an outline. We just want an outline and click OK. So now when I click on this tool, I can set these points just by clicking. And you can actually edit the points 
by grabbing them and dragging them. The last point that you touch is where the next point that you create will follow in line. So you don't have to be super detailed, um, but the more detail you include, the more detail there's going to be in your yardage book. So it's definitely worth it. And then you don't have to name it, just click OK. So now that we've outlined this area, I'm going to go ahead and set the red T box. And when you pull back, you can see this is going to be much more defined when you're actually using the, the application. So this next step is going to be the straight line distance to the furthest back hole. So I hit the ruler tool and hit it again so I can unlock it from its locked position. I'm going to pull it back to here and reference the yardage book, which says that this is uh, right about right about there, actually. So I'm going to pull this out to a solid number as close as I can. There we go. So this is not the actual distance of the hole necessarily. It, it may be, this is a pretty straight hole, so it's actually very close. But what it is is a straight line distance from the center of the green to the furthest back tee box. So I'm going to go ahead, click on this, drag it right on top of it. We're going to name this blue, and then 380. 386 for the straight line distance. Here's a par 5, also a dog leg. The reason why I'm showing you this is for the straight line distance. It's uh, just to reinforce the ruler tool. Make sure you're set to yards or meters. Zoom in as tight as you can to the, to the hole you're working on. Place that marker. And it's called a straight line distance because it's going to be a straight line from the center of the green to the furthest back tee box. All right, so real quick, here's some finishing touches on how to really make your course pop out. Click the polygon tool up here. Again, make sure you're set to just outline. And with this kind of crosshair, you place these points. Now, um, you may get frustrated with this tool if you drag it around it can make a lot of points which are a mess but you can hit the command key or whatever it is on the PC and delete or backspace um, it's different from PC and get back to where you started so what's nice about this you look at the yardage books and you really get a good idea of the shape of these greens which is gonna help you once you get this out there on the course and you wanna know exactly what the shape of this green is From here, I'm going to highlight the root folder of Swope Memorial Golf Course. Save. Save place as. And I usually just name it, uh, you know, you can do incremental saves, but I'm going to go ahead and save this one. But once you finish it, double check it. Send it in to us at the address, the email address on the bottom of the screen. If you want to send us your yardage books, that's at the top of the screen. Um, Thanks for having a look at this tutorial, and we'll look forward to adding your course to iYardage. Again, you can use this on your iPod Touch or your iPhone, any version of it. The most accurate yardage book, an interactive yardage book, so no gimmicks here. So thanks for helping us out, and also if you're interested in doing vector art to finalize the artwork, here's the information you need to contact us to do the artwork. We'll look forward to hearing from you, and uh, thanks for using iYardage.